Hello and welcome to Delmer TV, Bandiki Show. Today we have a special guest, Liliana Rivera Bayman, who is City Council candidate. Liliana, welcome to our show. Thank you very much. Who is Liliana Rivera Bayman? Well, Liliana Rivera Bayman is a mother, foremost, community activist and organizer, and an immigrant, and now a candidate for City Council. I, um, I came here from Mexico in 1990 to the United States and I've spent 30 years now living in, in this country, eight or nine uh, here in Columbus, Ohio. You're running for, uh, you are a candidate for city council. Yes. What is your platform? What are some of the issues that you want to change? Well, I'd like to see for every family in Columbus to have one good job that can pay for the bills and it allows for families to spend more time with their children and with each other. Right now we have a lot of families working two or three jobs and that makes it very hard for one's health but also for one to spend the time necessary with their children and with their families. The other thing I'd like to see is uh, for us to fix our education system. Our city schools are very, un they're not well funded and we need to provide good funding for these schools the resources necessary so that our kids can get a good education and then go off into the workforce you know, and, and continue to help our city grow. Um, the other thing I'd like to see is a city that works for all of its citizens, not just a few. And those things, the way we make that happen is we create real public transportation, like a train, a rail, that helps us get from the outside of the city to downtown so that people have reliable transportation. We also um, are able to build um, what we call a municipal broadband. That's uh, uh, Wi-Fi for families that are low income. That's free, provided by the city, run by the city, not a company, but city-run broadband, as well as free daycare for low income families municipal daycare. We could create four centers that are free, funded by the city for our families that really need it. You mentioned education. Columbus, uh, Columbus City Board, Board mm -hmm. recently donated close to one million to a public radio program. Mm -hmm. And instead of contributing to the city schools, it, teachers right. who are overworked and they have the kids to class that are outnumbered. What's your view on that? I think that the school board needs to fund the schools before they go and fund radio shows, before they go and fund, uh, give money to large corporations to start their headquarters. We need to put children first. And I think it's wrong that we haven't done that in many, many years now. I, I understand you are Democrat. Yes, correct. I am a Democrat. As historically speaking, when it comes to the county level, this county has always been a Republican. Mm -hmm. Until recently, immigrants arrived. Right. The county has changed to Republican, a uh, Democrat. Democrat. What is your view mm -hmm. on the contribution of immigrants in the city, in the great city of Columbus? Right. Well, as an immigrant, I think that immigrants make the city diverse. They make it rich, and it's been a positive contribution. And we need to continue to have more people coming in from different places, and we need to support those people by providing things like a municipal ID becoming a true sanctuary city and helping you know hate groups stop their rhetoric and make Columbus a welcoming city. We can't continue to grow without the immigrant population. I'm glad you said that, but Columbus, some immigrants seems to Columbus is working for a few instead of for many. Right. Can you speak on that? Sure. So right now, Columbus um, gives money to a lot of developers, very wealthy developers, and they forget about small businesses. So our small businesses need more support to grow, not big companies that are already making profit. Um, the other thing is we are creating systems like charging people to park in the short north, assuming that people have smartphones and that are able to pay for the parking, we're isolating groups of people outside, from outside of the city. We're saying don't come to the short north, don't come to downtown if you don't have a smartphone and you can't afford to pay for parking. That's not for the many, that's for the few. Um, we are providing very low wage service, work, service jobs. And instead of looking at jobs that pay 15 an hour, that have health insurance, paid parental leave, as well as vacation. So in order for us to become a city that represents everyone, 
we have to support working families and poor families. And we do that by providing them an avenue out of poverty. And right now we're not doing that. For, for my neighborhood in the South Side, it's not happening. What is your view on political donations, uh, the, the big developers? What, 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 what is your view on that? Well, I won't take money from big developers or corporations or special interest groups that are um, going to damage our community. All of my contributions that I've received have been under uh, 2500 I won't go beyond 2500 from an individual or an organization. And uh, the, in the contributions that we've received are from $5 up to $1,000. And to me, that's more meaningful because I'm accountable to people and not developers. I know a young lady who is an immigrant who has close to 600 employees. She has two different companies. And recently, Gap announced that they will move to Group 4 area. Mm -hmm. And the city of Columbus, they gave them a warehouse where they will build a, a brand new warehouse and they'll rent that tax free. And I know there's a lot of immigrants who contribute so many different ways, not only for employment, but they, unfortunately that has not been recognized. When you elected to become a city councilwoman, what promises could you give us as uh, immigrants? Okay, so uh, I feel that if, for example, a corporation is given an abatement, um, and they don't have to pay taxes, the money that they're saving needs to be put back into their employees. So are you providing your employees with all of the things that, is, that are necessary for them to um, have a good life in Columbus? The other thing that I wanna uh, promise is I'm gonna push very hard for the municipal ID that affects immigrants, that gives immigrants a voice and, account, and to be counted in the census. They have an ID that identifies them as a citizen of this city. And how do we continue to bring in more folks so that they feel welcomed? The other thing is, um, as immigrants, we make up a large por por uh, portion of the schools. And yet, you know, we're not receiving funds. I live near Seabird Elementary. That's on the south side. A third of the students that go there are Somali, or um, the other third is Latino, and then there's African American students, some Ethiopian. That school is constantly threatened to be closed. We can't have children in a school that are constantly thinking their school's going to be closed because of lack of funding. That's not a productive way for, um, for children to you know, function and for the parents to be stressed out. I promise that we're going to push for more funding to go into our schools and for those children at Seabirt to be able to have a school to go to and not live with the threat that it's going to close down. What do you say to those who say uh, uh, she's using the immigrant car? Once she get into the city council circle, nothing will change. Right. Well, I think a lot of folks are probably skeptical about mm. folks that are running because they've seen people get in and not, you know, do things. I am running with uh, with a platform of a working families party, and I have am going to be held accountable by the people that are helping me run. A lot of the volunteers on my campaign are working families. And I know that if I get elected and I don't do what I've promised or to support working families, they will go in and hold me accountable and call me out. And that's what I want families in Columbus to do. If I am elected and they feel that something hasn't happened, hold me accountable. Um, I plan to spend part of my time, if I am on council, instead of having people come to meet me in the library, for hours, I plan to canvas neighborhoods and knock on doors and ask the community, what do you want to see happen so that they can have access to their council person. Speaking of helping people, tell me about the municipal ID. The municipal ID, if we pass this, um, would provide a face for many homeless uh, folks in our town, uh, immigrants that don't have any other kind of ID, and it would give them an opportunity to use it to get library cards to use it if they're pulled over by the police as a way to identify themselves. And for the city, it gives us a proper number of the residents that we have living here. We're able to track everyone and know if our city's growing, um, what part of the population needs more support. So I think it's something that we need to pass and groups like BREAD, that is a coalition for religious groups, has been trying to get this passed for the last five years. I'm planning to support their platform and push this when in council. 
tell me uh, more about your website. How do, how do people can reach you? What kind of sure. could contribute? Um, so Lily for Columbus, it's L-I-L-I, -I, the number four, Columbus.com is our website. And uh, people can go there. They can donate to our campaign. Like I've mentioned before, no campaign, no contribution is too small. We've had people that you know give five or ten dollars. I had a child mail me three dollars bills, and that's what the campaign's about. That that's what I care about. That people take the time to instead write. of receiving three million from a developer. Exactly, because those three dollars can help me buy paper to print labels Absolutely. to send out thank you cards. Um, the other way folks can get involved is I have a Twitter account, Lily for Columbus, and I'm gonna have an Instagram this weekend. Someone's helping me build one. And I have a Facebook. It's also Liliana Rivera Bayman for Columbus City Council. Follow us. I'm on there every day, even when I have my baby, because I, I stay home right now. Uh, my husband works. I stay home, and I take care of the baby and run the campaign. If you check our website, you will see her baby is an active member of the, of yes. the campaign. Yes, <laughs> yes. The baby is with me everywhere. I, I want for working moms to feel and working families like they can be a part of the campaign, that this city supports them. And the way we do that is by creating a campaign centered around children. All of my campaign folks have kids, and so we have them bring their kids to the meetings. We tried to have babysitting on site so that they can be a part of it, because what we do today is gonna be the things that they um, you know, will be able to uh, have tomorrow. It's their future. We're, we're paving it for them. Absolutely. Well, Eliana, we appreciate your time. Thank you for coming through for your busy time, and hopefully we'll see you as a city council woman soon. Thank you so Thank much. You. That'll be all for today. Until next time. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته مرك لو حرب أنا دكتور دويو أمينة أحمد أو كم ذا أرد هذا أيد قريت كأه سكول كان توبة كذا مي كأف لحظة أمينة ستة ما شاء الله بقصنا دي جلسة سكول كان الله وسدح سنة عمل سدح سنة عمل سوما ما شاء الله محد هي له توبة كذا مي تذكر والدين تسوم عليه ذي كمقلة عاو وحدي لها توبة كذا مي وسكول هذا وفي عن أو كلام بس جوا اللي ما أخلاق البراء إذبت إسلامك نو براء ونسكول أو مسلم إيه إن عنت هذا عنت في عنيه يو وحبر شوفي عن اللي ما هي بران يقل ما خلق له بديكته. ما شاء الله. أذيك أمين أهان سير أوقف إيدي ستسكول كان. سكول كان إني وحبر ذنب كف إيدي أدا تشانس كل هاي سنها مل كل كم عادي لهن سكول في عن وايه وان سكول هذا وفي عن بديه لها. أنا أنا personally سكول كان وش على هاي. ما شاء الله. جزاك الله خير وحن أوقف إن القرآن كي كمتجي كمان تكلمت جوابك شيء وحرب إن كده مبروك مبروك مركلة ما هتسند. هذا اللي أرضه ذي رير القرآن كأنه برتره. إن وكسر دبين لها إن وحكوده لها قرآن ك و وقول كلا هي أو وقرآن كحفي عنواي. so أنت برتان وحوف ذين لها نالا شادة. هدول نمل به قال لها يعني ده قرآن كبرتان وحبديان. ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير وحرب أنا أدعو والدك معلمين هذا هي دمان ذاتك كسر عوي. وحن كور جينا مستقبل في عنا إن شاء الله وجزاك الله خير وحسن الله إليك والله ليال توب أكاديمي كولومبوس أوهايو 1950 مورس رود وحي سؤال شاشة دائرة أركز على السكرينك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته